know what a pure steel can do for you? My name is Patrick Gerlund and I will talk about what an isotropic steel can do for your design opportunities. In the first webcast, the fatigue strength versus defect size graph was presented and discussed. This graph shows that the fatigue strength of conventional steel is significantly affected by the presence of large defects. The second webcast described the BQ steel. This presentation will describe the IQ steel, which stands for isotropic quality steel. Similar to BQ steel, it has significantly smaller inclusion size distribution compared to conventional steel. But IQ steel also exhibit excellent properties regardless in which direction it is loaded. Steel is normally anisotropic by nature. Metal working will deform the inclusions formed in the metal. The result will be elongated defects in the rolling directions. If the steel is loaded parallel to the rolling direction, if you see the red arrow in the left model, the fatigue strength will be higher compared to if it's loaded transverse to the rolling direction, the yellow arrow in the same model. There are simply a higher number of large defects that can initiate a fatigue crack in this loading direction. The IQ steel is designed to have small and isolated inclusions. The small size makes them less harmful for fatigue. Since they are isolated, they should not interact and act as one large stringer. The result is that an IQ steel would have much less difference in the fatigue properties in the most and least favorable loading direction. OVACO has conducted a huge number of fatigue tests with specimen sample in both in transverse and longitudinal direction. For IQ steel, there is a small difference, but not very dramatic compared to a non-IQ steel. Based on the result from this fatigue test, the fatigue strength versus defect size graph can be further discussed. If you take the expected fatigue strength in the least and the most favorable loading direction, this could be how it would look like for a conventional steel, a BQ steel and an IQ steel. As shown in the figure, the fatigue strength of the IQ steel will be very high and with a very low spread. This makes this material interesting as a substitute for material produced by remelting. Benchmarking with vacuum arc remelted steel shows that the fatigue properties obtained with IQ steel are equal to the fatigue properties of the much more costly remelted materials. So, by selecting the right quality, you can get a huge impact on the performance. One step is to move from conventional steel to BQ steel. The fatigue strength can be dramatically increased. A second step is to use an IQ steel. This is a way to upgrade the performance of a gear in the transmission, a high pressure diesel injection component, or any other component subjected to a high and complex loading. So, an isotropic steel offers performance in all directions and the IQ steel from Ovaco might be just the right choice for you.